Thousands of sailors and Marines of the USS Kearsarge Amphibious Ready Group are heading overseas tonight. The departure comes as the situation in Ukraine escalates. Here's Mike Gooding. For USS Kearsarge and USS Arlington, deployment day has arrived. They've been training for this moment for over a year. But obviously, with events in Eastern Europe of the last three weeks, there is much uncertainty. Daddy's leaving. And all that going on over there in Russia and Ukraine, is, it's very scary for me. But I am going to um, keep praying. The Amphibious Ready Group's leaders say these 4,000 sailors and Marines are ready for whatever they might face. While we monitor what's happening in Europe, it's not, it's not at the forefront of our minds. We're trained to respond globally to any number of uh, situations. And, uh, and while we are, are heading over in that direction, we are ready to, to respond to any tasking that's given us and any mission uh, that's provided. But we are ready to operate across the spectrum. So whatever the operating environment throws at us, uh, we are we are fully prepared for. We love you. And in a first during the Kearsarge ARGS pre-deployment composite training unit exercise, they operated under the control of Naval Striking and Support Forces NATO. And as is usual with the Navy, nobody is saying officially how long this deployment will last, other than it will be a typical deployment. Typically, they last six to seven months. At Naval Station Norfolk, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. And the Navy says USS Gunston Hall will deploy later this month.